Hi, I'm Keith, um, manager here at Coy Water Barn at Rushmore Hill, Knockholt, Kent at Coolings Garden Centre. Um, this is our lovely main pond, my main display room, which is all done on Oasi products. Um, all brand new, the reason for it all being new is um, that we've only recently moved here in March this year. Um, 16th of March uh, 2019 was in fact the date we opened. Um, you may be thinking, well, why the move? Well, we have been established for some 35 years at our previous site in Chelsfield Village. Um, however, uh, due to that being located on a farm, we were a, a not a, um, we were more of a, a final destination. So we were only attracting people who wanted to come and get a product and hence uh, trade was slowing down. So uh, we took the opportunity to move to our new site at Coolings, which is located in a, a, a very impressive garden center massive footfall and um, we also wanted to try and recreate Koi um, which you'll see in a minute as we take a close look at our systems here. This is our main display pond, um, circa sort of five and a half thousand gallons, fed by four four inch bottom drains located centrally in a line along the bottom of the pond. Those feed into two compact L Oasi drum filters, one approximately here, one here, both underneath our tiled flooring. Each is powered by an Oasi Aquamax Expert 21000 through an Oasi UV system. The reason we went for that was mainly because the quality of water we all achieve with the drum, which is paramount with these massive viewing windows we've got, which are the, one of the wow factors of our new shop. Added to that as well, the, all of the pumps are super energy efficient, allowing for very cheap running, and all of these can be controlled by EGC, a, a control system which allows you functionality of controlling the product via your phone or, or, or iPad. Very tight fit under here, as you'll see later uh, when we get the covers up. But that is our main pond, super water quality you'll see, and very happy with the Oasi products running it. Okay, just moved to the other side of our main display room, to our two smaller ponds. Both of these are just under 2,000 gallons. These again are filtered using the Oasi Compact L system. One on each pond, one here, one here. These were really tight to get in. We'll get the covers up and you'll be amazed at how tight the space was. Again, ran on Aquamax Expert pumps, ORZ UVs, all controllable via the EGC system. Again, drums, really, the, the amount of filtration we could get in for the space allocated was super. And again, the windows, we need that amazing level of water quality, which we know we'll achieve from an ORZ drum. Another benefit as well is, Due to the cleaning cycle, only a very small amount of water is lost and, and now being on a water meter, any saving we can make is, uh, is paramount. A question that we commonly get asked is, what, why a drum filter? Why spend all that extra money when there's more traditional methods of filtration available? Well, the answer to that surely has to be seen here. If you look at the back of our pond, which is getting on for some six meters away, you can clearly see the air in the back as though it was right next to you. And if you get really close, you can physically see the fiberglass on the back wall. So that's why we use drums. Uh, there's not really another sensible alternative, especially if you've got windows on your pond. Here we have an Awaza ProfiClear Premium Compact L filter. This is a gravity fed system. You've got two bottom drains going through into the standard 60 micron sieves, through the standard 50 liters of Helex 13 media as well, and running through an Eco Expert 21000, then running through a Bitron 110. The Eco Expert and the drum filter itself is all run off EGC. 
the beauty of you running EGC for this system in particular is the fact that when stock levels are really high, especially during the beginning of the season, you could actually increase the water changes. So rather than doing manual water changes, you do it more often. By doing so, you're doing a few hundred litres a day, but by doing it over the day itself, it's a much easier way of sort of controlling it. With the Helex 13 Media, you can increase it to another 75 litres easily, which will obviously then increase the biological load. But with the size of the fish and the system we have here, the two Compact L filters is more than enough. Don't forget that if you are doing regular water changes with the drum filter, it's worth using an inline dechlorinator or anything of the sort. The Acmax Eco X by 21000 is also run on the EGC. So the beauty is you can run it on the SFC, the seasonal flow control, which does dim it down during the winter period. However, as is indoors, this will always say a constant 20 degrees. So with the standard sieves here, we've got the 60 micron sieves, which are the average human hair width. You can increase the width itself to 150 microns. So if you've got a lot more fish going in, putting into established ponds, or if you don't want to have as many water changes throughout the day, you can change to 150 microns. However, if you want to polish it even more, which for this sort of purpose you probably would do, you can then use 30 microns, which is the lowest micron sieves we can go down to. As you can see here, we've got an open space for one Compact L. A Compact L drum is more than capable of doing over 30,000 litres uh, for koi level stocks. The good thing about the Awaza filters in particular is a much smaller footprint than you ever used to. Before, you used to have loads and loads of bays running all along, which actually would run at least three times the amount like you see here for the size of ponds we have. Here you've got the Profiteer Premium drum controller. This is the same for all of the drums. To get to the menus, push menu once. This is your clean cycle, so this is how long it cleans for. This is for your extra clean, so every 20 cleans you get an extra certain amount of cleans. This is the interval, so how often it cleans for whilst the clean hasn't been triggered by the float switch to do any functions, get to the function you need to, i.e. for here we'll do clean cycle, hold the menu button down, go in a flash of time, so this cleans for 30 seconds, push the menu button once again and it goes through all of the time, so 10 seconds, 15, 20, and we go back to the 30 again, once you get to the time, leave it off, and it sets. To check that everything is working, hold the clean button down for five seconds. And that means it's cleaning. If however, you want a easier cleaner solution, the EGC box at the bottom of the controller is where you want to go. So this controls to an EGC controller, which you buy separately. With the EGC, you can control drum filters, you can control Acmax Eco Expert pumps, Acmax Titanium pumps, and the Profilux RGB lighting. Covers up. These are the two drums doing our small, two smaller ponds in the main display room. Um, both are Wazi Compact L's again. What I'd like to show you here is it's vital to get some decent plumbing in before you go into the drums from the drains. Um, all this room here was done by Kaizen, Darren of Kaizen with his assistant Bartek um, over three months earlier this year. Um, what we had on each of the drums, which is vital, is the facility to be able to isolate the drum from the pond. So here we've used quality slide valves as supplied by Oazi, the Volterra valves. This basically allows us to push the valve and now that drum is isolated. The other important thing with this is to have a purge facility which allows us to basically shut this but then open an additional valve lower down which you won't be able to see and then actually purge each drain directly to waste. The importance of doing this is over time sediment detritus will build up in the pipework from the drain which will slow the flow down. This can ultimately have uh, the result of showing an error, typically error 33 on the control panel, which suggests the drums basically being starved of water and there's a blockage. So it's vital to put some decent valves in before you go into the drum and ideally also before this have another T-piece manifold system so that you have the facility to purge each drum to waste.
Here you have the EGC controller front panel, front page. First drum, drum A, as listed here, running at 20 degrees. How many cleans done in the last 24 hours? The total cleans is done in his lifetime. Manual clean button. And here's the settings. So this one cleans for 20 seconds. For every 20 cleans, you get a 6 seconds extra clean cycle. As well as clean every 30 minutes. This pump is pump A, which runs the first drum. We've got SFC, the seasonal flow control. It's turned off, but you can turn on quite easily. Power's running 100%. Gives you the overall speed in RPM, the power in wattage. So it's 306 watts running at 21,000 liters an hour. And then the run cycle, or the hour cycle.